So, um, just walked around this park here, um, Olympic Forest Park, it was amazing. But I thought I'd sit down and have a, a quick chat because when I was walking around I was reflecting on something that my my mate said to me and, and that was that I should steer away from the politics sometimes in the in the videos and, and just make travel videos. And I and I kind of get that, but I, it's not what I want to do. I want to get a mix of both. I was always a a fan of Anthony Bourdain, and I liked his shows at the end where he would maybe mix some of that political comment with the things that he was experiencing. Um, I think one of his best shows was when he was in Vietnam, and he loved Vietnam. When he was in Vietnam, and and he he was. Yeah, he, he was always his happiest there, but he passed comment on on what what happened in Vietnam. So I I appreciated that. I, I thought that was that you can't avoid that if you're going to talk about Vietnam, you should talk about the war because especially if you're in the West because that's something that we we remember and, and we are, we always had kind of pushed down our throats. Anyway, my passions were always sort of travel, food, finance, current affairs, politics, if you like, and a little bit of history. And this sort of seems to be bleeding through the channel at the moment. I used to hate the whole politics at work, etc. Um, but I read something somewhere that basically said there is no avoiding politics. Politics is basically everywhere. So I decided to embrace the idea of politics and, and sort of try and understand politics uh, and understand it more from maybe some of my local community, my local life. Um, but actually I realised that that was too frustrating for me. And what was really interesting to me was the, the whole big political, geopolitical hemisphere around politics and, and some of the history of that and some of the future and current um, situation with that. And I think one of the books that pushed me that direction was the, the book titled The 48 Laws of Power, which is a Robert Greene book. And it is a controversial book in a sense. It's banned in the prisons in America, I believe. But actually, it's a very good book. It's, it's got a lot of history and a lot of knowledge woven through what essentially is a sort of leadership book to a certain extent. Anyway, I did want to understand more about the world and and why things work the way that they did. And unfortunately, my wee brain isn't big enough. Uh, but thank God we have the internet and we, we have that internet accessible when we travel. Well, we have it for now anyway. So I love travelling and, and exploring some local areas and, and, and kind of searching on the internet on the phone to understand a little bit of what I'm looking at. And I really like that. And some people give me feedback to say I should drop it. Some of my friends actually, but I, I don't think I'm going to do that. I think I'm going to continue to try and get the balance between what I'm looking at, experiencing, eating, and so on, and, and drop in a little bit of the political background context to wherever I am in the world, because I think it's important. The thing for me though, is that a lot of people say, Ian, drop the politics, or I don't like politics. But they love the political shows. The you know the House of Cards was one of the most popular shows in the world ever. The the program, the Game of Thrones, um, that was super successful. It wasn't successful because of the violence. The guy starts hammering. It wasn't successful because of the the violence or the the dragons. It was it was really successful because of the intrigue, the political intrigue. Um, and if you look at why people were watching something like the Game of Thrones is the exact same that I get anyway for looking and trying to understand the geopolitics and what's going on behind the scenes and when you start to understand the players in the geopolitical sphere if you like and maybe a little bit of the history it becomes really fascinating I think if you actually took the time to maybe learn how it all fits together and the global players and some of the history, I think you would find it really fascinating. I mean, it doesn't move as fast as television, although in some places it does, like America, it's almost overnight, new political stories are, are, are breaking. Um, but it doesn't move as fast as the television. 
and 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 maybe the cast is very very wide, so it's hard to get your head around it. But it's if you if you try and understand it and even cast your net a little bit wider than your local political um, intrigue and understanding of your local political situation, and maybe cast it to a wider kind of geopolitical view, I think you would be fascinated by it, and and I think you would learn pretty fast if you started to explore um, and I'm not talking about the local politics, I am talking about you know, your country and, and where your country sits in, in the wider sphere of things because every country has a part to play. Anyway, I find it very, very interesting and, and I'm still going to weave it through some of my videos so if that's your thing, please sign up, subscribe or whatever. If it's not your thing, give me the feedback but I don't want to change that. Um, there will be some videos where it's just purely you know, what I'm looking at and, and some comment on what I'm eating or, or whatever. But on the whole, I think I'm always going to blend a little comment, a little attitude, a little edge onto my, my videos. I would urge you to get steeped into some of the global politics, if you like. Um, there's a lot to do, or a lot to read and a lot to consume. Um, I would ask you to stay away from some of the social media because that really... In my view, it turns into a bit of an echo chamber if you if you're putting out and the algorithm is giving you all the stuff back, then all it is is just playing back what's already in your mind. You really need to cast your net very very wide to to really understand what's going on in the world. And I've got an opinion, and my opinion changes quite frequently. It's, it's influenced by many things. I, I I try and keep my mind open. Hammering again, keep my mind open to a number of different influences. Essentially, my core beliefs will always remain the same. I just don't believe in war. I think governments are there to serve the people. I think taxation should be used to support the people and the well being of the country and support other countries. And I think um, a rising tide floats all boats. So I think any wealthy countries should be supporting poorer countries and lift, lift the whole of mankind probably a romantic approach to life but it is just me, that's just what I believe anyway I think I will continue to pass some comment and uh, you know, like I said try and understand where I'm coming from but also please continue to leave comments and feedback in the box below somewhere and keep um, watching hopefully you'll enjoy it um, I mean my last comment I think is that and I was thinking about this as I walked around this park. I used to work with a guy and he would always say he hate, hated politics, didn't read the newspapers, didn't read anything, he just he was just he just hated politics. And and in a way I get it. I get it. And he would always say, I only work on what I can control. And for me that's like saying, Yeah, I drive my car but I wanna look at my dashboard and my steering wheel. I don't actually look out the windscreen and look around me, look up the road and down the road to see what's coming my direction. And for me, that doesn't make sense. So, yeah, each to their own. But for someone to say, I, I, you know, I, I don't look at politics, don't want to know about it, put my head in the sand and only focus on what I can control, to be fair, I think you're kidding yourself on. Anyway... As always, this is me, Ian here in Beijing, had a walk around this park, that will be on another video, and I'm just wrapping up for the day. I am going to go and have a look at this dragon that I tried to see the other day that, that was so busy they actually turned off the light inside the dragon, so I couldn't really appreciate it. I'm going to go have a look at that, the dragon, lit dragon. And my last comment, if you think of Game of Thrones, and you think of the end of that, and you think of what was the most powerful part going through the whole Game of Thrones, it was the dragon. It is the year of the dragon. Interesting thought. <laughs> anyway, finish my coffee and head off. Take care. Catch you soon. And as always, please look after yourself, your family, look after your community. Take care. Peace out. Catch you soon. Try to play it, but you're never gonna beat me Look the other way, what I'm doing ain't easy Bloody hands stain from the people who deceive me Bloody hands break through the chains, go free me Looking for change, looking for pain Pulling a mob, pushing a train